What is a void contract? A void contract is a nullity and ineffectual, such that nothing can cure it. As the Supreme Court of Canada held in Heron v. Lalonde, it is nulle a initio, being an absolute nullity that precludes the contract from having ever taken place. And as the 1997 Calgary Roman Catholic Separate School decision concluded, quote, a void contract is void, not just something to be interpreted around if possible, end quote. And this is the critical distinction from a voidable contract, which presents an imperfection or defect that can be cured by the act or confirmation of the person who could take advantage of it. Thus, acceptance of rent will make good avoidable lease, yet it will not affirm a void lease. For a contract to be void, it is of no effect whatsoever, being a nullity that is incapable of confirmation or ratification. And to this day, the courts have continued to apply the principle from Bartlett v. Venor in 1693 that, quote, Every contract made in or about any matter or thing which is prohibited and made unlawful by any statute is a void contract, though the statute itself doth not mention that it shall be so. End quote. Nonetheless, it is even more explicit in the case of the Alberta Employment Standards Code, which states at Section 4 that, quote, an agreement that this act or provision of it does not apply or that the remedies provided by it are not to be available for an employee is against public policy and void, end quote. And given that the term agreement includes collective agreements pursuant to paragraph 11A.1 of the code, collective agreements can be rendered a nullity if it prescribes employee payments in contravention of the statutory minimums which is arguably outside of the ambit of the 1995 Supreme Court of Canada decision in Weber v. Ontario Hydro that serves to keep union disputes outside of the court's purview as the collective agreement will be rendered void ab initio. Thank you.